Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. So today's video, I am filming an updated house tour. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. Um, a lot has changed in our house since we bought it last year, and I just thought it would be really fun to do an updated house tour a year later. So if you haven't seen my previous house tour, I will link it below. Um, to be honest, it's really bad. Honestly, I was so excited when we bought our house. I, like, I feel like the camera was pointed down the whole time but you could just hear the excitement in my voice and I don't know so if you want to watch it I will link it below so you can check that video out first but I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I hope you guys enjoy all right so I'm standing by the front door here and I'm fixing to turn the camera around and give you a little tour but before we get started I wanted to say that any videos that I have over the last year of us updating in the house I will list those below that way they're easy for you to find and um, you'll know exactly which video to click on for a certain project um, and I will do the best I can to tell you where I got things, some of the most asked things, I will try my best to point those out and share those with you. But if I seem to miss something, feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and turn you around and show you my little house. Alrighty, so walking in the front door, this is the view that you are going to see. Um, over this way is obviously the kitchen. And then to the right, we have our living room. So this house isn't very big. It is um, just over 1,200 square foot. It's a three bedroom, two bath. But honestly, I feel like it fits us really well. And, um, you know, if you've been following for a while, then you know we did live in a single wide trailer. So we are kind of used to having a smaller space to live in. So to us, this house is actually kind of big. But anyway, starting over here, I got our couch from Ashley Furniture. I will link it below if I can. I actually did a video on this couch and I updated in the comments. I gave an update, so if you want to check that out. Um, the coffee table was given to me and I did a makeover on that. Everything on this tray right here is from Amazon. Um, my pillow covers, <clears throat> these two with the um, little puffs on the side that Zoe, this little uh, puppy ate. Yes, she destroys things. She's still at that puppy chewing stage. I'm, we're working on it. But <laughs> she ate the puffs off my pillow. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with her. Um, but anyway, those are from Amazon. The fluffy white pillows are from Walmart. Same thing with this checkered pillow. My frames are from Walmart as well. They were super affordable. Um, I've seen collages like these that are just so pricey and I only paid like three bucks a piece for each of those frames and then printed the eight by tens from Walmart. So super affordable little collage wall. Another question I get a lot is where I got my curtains. So I wish I could tell you guys, um, they were actually given to me years ago. My mom gave them to me when I first moved um, into our second trailer in Georgia and there's no tag but they look like Walmart curtains. Honestly, I have found this really similar ones at Walmart. So look for white ones and I'll show you up close. So these have like a texture on them. I'm trying to get it to focus. They're like, I don't know, they're not shiny, they're matte. And I think it's so important if you're going for like that farmhouse look to have like more of a matte curtain, not like a shiny curtain. I hope that makes sense. All right, so anyway, the wreath on the window, I actually made that myself. I had the brown um, wreath and I just added some greenery to it. And then I have it hung up with a piece of jute cord wrapped around the blinds. So that's how that's holding up. This floor lamp I got from a good, or like basically like a Goodwill, it's a thrift store, for only 20 bucks. And it came with the lampshade and everything. So that was a steal. My TV stand is from Amazon. I'll link that below for you guys. This wreath is from Bell's Outlet. Bell's Outlet has the cheapest, prettiest wreaths. I love this one so much. So I got that. And then coming down the hallway, we have this little stand I got from a yard sale. I painted it with chalk paint. And then I have a thrifted vase here, some greenery from Walmart, Dylan and I's wedding picture, some books that are just random, and then this mirror I also thrifted and just painted it matte black. 
So before we move into the um, bedrooms, I wanted to go ahead and finish off with the main living space. So turning, so here's the living room, um, there's the front door. Turning this way, we have our dining room. So the dining room chairs are from Amazon. You get a pack of four for like a hundred bucks. So they're super affordable. They're not like terribly uncomfortable. The only downfall is that they're kind of like cold when you go to sit with like shorts on. That's the only issue I have with them. I absolutely love them, especially with kids. They're super easy to keep clean. Um, so if you're interested, I will link those below. Oh, by the way, my rugs, all of my, the rugs, Oh wait, not all of them. So the two rugs out here in the living room and the one in my master bedroom, which I'll show you, they're all the same, just different colors and different sizes. So I will link that below if you want um, to check those out as well. But anyway, so this is the dining room. So this I change up a lot, honestly. I feel like I can never like figure out how I actually want it to look. <laughs> so the chandelier is from Amazon. It was $139. So super good deal. I really love it. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's gorgeous and I love the shadows that it puts on the ceiling. Um, our farmhouse table, my dad had for a long time and I just, you know, refinished it. I actually plan on redoing it again, so make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see me do that. Got this hutch from a yard sale for 20 bucks and I painted it. I do have an entire video on that. Um, and I have kind of like redecorated this space a few times. I have videos on those as well. But the baskets are from a thrift store. This basket up here is from Hobby Lobby. The two candlesticks are from Bell's Outlet. Pretty much all the stuff in the hutch I've just kind of gathered over the years. There's like a bunch of random stuff in there. I really need to redecorate it. Um, but then my farmhouse sign is from Hobby Lobby. This tall vase is from Walmart, and so is the greenery. I need to fix it. It's all little, it's a little wonky. The kids ran into it with their scooter and it fell over, so I need to fix that up. Over here, we have this little stand. This is actually where we keep our shoes and our wax melts for our wax burner. Um, and yes, I had a candle up there melting. <laughs> um, and then this little arrangement came from Walmart. It's in pretty bad shape. I need to fix that up, but... I just have that sitting there for now. And then we do keep the dog's kennel out here. Again, we had it in our daughter's room for a while, but the dogs prefer obviously to lay out in the main living space and I don't ever have to lock it. They just like to lay in their kennel. So that is their little safe space and I don't mind it. So then turning this way, we have the kitchen. The kitchen is one of my favorite parts of the house. I feel like this is the most like drastic change in my opinion so same thing with the wall here this used to have this is a door by the way if you haven't seen my other videos um it used to be a door it's actually a an hvac closet so i have the vent right here so it can breathe and we made this brick wall that way it would camouflage the door and it worked <laughs> and i i love it 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 honestly works really well especially since our house is kind of awkwardly laid out it's really hard to find a good place to put your couch and your TV because I didn't share this earlier but our door is right in the center so where our door is it makes it really difficult to set up the couch like I really don't have any other option this is it so that's the only downfall about this house if I could change anything about it I wish that I could change around my living room a little bit more but it's fine I, I make it work so anyway, back to the kitchen. I have the island that my husband and I built. These two chairs, I get questions on those a lot. Those actually, it's kind of a funny story. I got those from this, like, so they weren't in the dumpster. So don't, <laughs> don't take it wrong. But they were basically in the trash. And they were out of my old apartment complex. The first one that Dylan and I had ever lived in. And this apartment complex was really, really nice. And they would throw away, like, brand new furniture and stuff. So I would, like, keep an eye out. And I seen these chairs. They were black with, like, brown seats. And I, I redid those a couple. I think it's been, like, a year. I redid those, like, a year ago. And I love them. And then um, we made the island, like I said. So I have a video on that. The open shelving we did ourselves as well. That was... Um, that's another thing I get asked a lot about. So they are 
uh, let me try to get this right. <laughs> they are two by 12 pine boards and I cut them to three foot long and then the brackets are from Lowe's and they are like heavy, they're really, really heavy duty metal brackets because these, this is so, so heavy. And then with all my plates and stuff that I keep on there, I needed it to be like super, super strong. And the stain color is called Early American. It's my favorite stain color. I've used it. That's what I, um, I stain the coffee table too. But yeah, so this is our kitchen. I have it, I feel like my whole house kind of has the same theme. That's kind of the way I like to have it, especially since it's all very like open concept. I like the whites, tans, grays, and pops of green. I feel like it just looks really pretty and I can really, I can change my decor up really easily when it's more of a neutral tone. So that's why I love it. Um, for those of you who have, who have asked about our appliances and if I like them, I do not recommend the stove or the dishwasher. So don't buy the Armana brand or Amana. Our stove has tons of issues. It's constantly messing up. The microwave has been fine and the fridge has been okay, but the dishwasher also kind of it's not that great um, compared to dishwashers that I have heard work better. So anyway, just a disclaimer. If you're about to buy dishwasher or stove, try to stay away from the Amana brand. I don't know if, even know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, so this is the little kitchen. The yum sign is from Hobby Lobby. The wreath, Bell's Outlet, um, bless this home. That sign is from Hobby Lobby. Then I have... A bunch of different dishes they all came from different places the big vase I got from a Goodwill and I painted that with chalk paint these two I got from Bell's outlet all these came from a thrift store the plates are all from Dollar Tree and I love these plates I think they are so so pretty oh it's not focusing sorry guys but they have like little bead like dots on the sides and I don't know what it is, but I think they're just, they're so pretty. I love them. Oh, where else do I need to show you guys? Okay, so turning this way, I have the shutters, the window, and then this gather sign. So the shutters I built myself, and I do have a video on that. The window came from a um, yard sale, and the gather sign is from Hobby Lobby. Um, the curtains that I have in here, they are super long. They're 92 inches long, and I ha I got those from Amazon. So I'll be able to link that and the curtain rod. And the curtain rod was actually really affordable. It did have a bracket that goes in the center here, but I had a hard time closing the curtains all the way because the bracket was in the way, so I took it down. Um, and so far, it's been okay. It hasn't, like, drooped or anything, so that's good. And now turning this way... We plan on doing a barn door on this wall right here because, um, so this door is actually really narrow. I'm sure you can see that on camera, but this is my daughter's room here, and that's Honey. <laughs> um, so this is her room. This is actually the master bedroom. Um, I have a whole video on switching the bedrooms around and the reason why we did that, mainly because this room is long and narrow and it it was really hard to set up my furniture, so that's why we switched rooms. So she's got her bed, her two nightstands, um, her super cute little chandelier, and she has like all her little girly things over here. And then turning this way, we have the closet dresser, her like toy bins over here. So this is like where we stack up like all the toys. I know it's probably not the prettiest thing, but it works and that's what we use. So this is her closet. It serves as half storage and then half clothing space. I don't know. So we have like all of our homeschool stuff right here, all her clothes. And then behind this curtain is storage for that like can't be outside in the shed. Okay, so her bed, um, her bed frame, I actually got from a yard, or not yard sale, Facebook Marketplace. It was blue, and I recently painted it um, white along with, I painted her nightstands that my mom gave us. She only paid five bucks a piece for those at a yard sale, so that was a steal. And then her rug is from Walmart. Her pictures, I painted those. The chandelier I got from a, um, a lady on Facebook Marketplace. 
Her little dollhouse is actually from Walmart, but I got it from Facebook Marketplace. Oh, I think she was, I think she turned three when we bought this, three or four. I can't remember how old she was, but she's had it for a long time, and it's really, really great quality. The little furniture is, like, just strong and sturdy, so it's lasted a while. Um, what else did I want to share? The bedding is also from Walmart, oh, no, Target. I got that from Target along with the pillow. Um, let's see... The dresser um, was from a friend, and I just repainted that and added some new knobs that I got from Hobby Lobby. This picture right here is from Ross. And then turning this way, we have our like little homeschool setup. It's not like the most organized space ever, but it works, and this is where we sit down to do her schoolwork. I usually sit right here on the computer and teach her, and then she'll sit right here at this little desk, and that's how we do it. Or then there's sometimes where she'll sit at the desk and like watch her videos and stuff. So it just really depends. But that's a little homeschool area. Oh, geez. And then coming back out of her room. So this is the view. And then we're going to go down this hallway to the rest of the house. So in this door, this is their bathroom. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Sometimes it gets it's stuck, and sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, this is the bathroom. Um, we have our razors lined up across the top so the kids can't reach them. I love this bathroom a lot. I love the glass showers. I love the tile. I love everything about this bathroom. It is small, but it's functional, and it works for us. It doesn't have to be huge, but I, I do like it. It's just your simple, typical bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> Now going this way, we will go to Caden's room first and then we'll go to my room in a second. So here's Caden's room. We recently did a makeover on this bedroom. His room was the last room to get done because we really wanted to build him his bed and we finally got that done and it turned out so, so good. I'm so in love with it. I also have a video on that if you want to check it out. Um, but I have this rug here from Walmart. Um, I can't link this one. It's an in-store purchase only, I think, but it's called the Abstract Shag Rug. Abstract Shag Rug. I know that. The curtains, I cannot link these, and I get questions on them all the time. I love them, but they are in-store purchase only. So you just have to go to your local Walmart and look on the end caps, like in the curtain section, and that's where I found these. And they, they still have them at my Walmart, so I'm sure you'll find them at yours too. Um, and they were $9.98 for a pack of two, so you can't beat that. And um, we just have his bookshelf here with all of his toys in it. We have more to toy, <laughs> more toy storage underneath his bed. And then over this way, we have his dresser. All this decor right here was from Hobby Lobby, except for the C sign. And then this ladder my mom actually made. Okay, so this isn't like the most ideal situation, but it works, and this room is small, so um, we kind of don't have much of a choice. But we have his like race track that he got for Christmas, and it's absolutely insanely big, so we just kind of leave that wherever it fits, and we just slide it around whenever we need to get around it. But he has this kitchen over here, which gets a ton of use. He is obsessed with cooking, and you can see he plays with this all the time. I didn't even clean it up, but... That is his bedroom. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I'll show you the closet. Um, I keep it real around here, and our closets are not that organized, to be honest. I need to do better. <laughs> but we have all of his clothes, which, once again, are not organized. Um, random toys that... Oh, we're not even going to talk about it. Pillows, extra pillows, and that's his old baby mattress. Um, and more storage stacked up on top of there. Yeah, it's a mess. Let's just close the door. Okay, so then walking out of his room, we're going to go straight across the hallway to the master bedroom now. So this used to not be the master bedroom, um, but we prefer this room better because it fits our furniture better. Our bedroom, like our bed is huge and our dresser is huge. Like we, our room just did not fit well in the other bedroom. So that's the main reason for the switch. Um... I have an entire video on doing a makeover on this room. If you want to check that out, I'll link it below. But I just figured I would give you a little overview of how it looks. Oh, 
All right, and then here is the master bedroom closet. It is a mess, super bad mess. Um, we have a ton of like Christmas stuff that we haven't opened yet. A lot of these toys were duplicate toys that the kids got, so we just put the extra ones in the top of our closet. Um, and then Dylan and I have all of our clothes. And yeah, it's a mess. Like, I wanted to say this sign I got from Ro or not Ross Bell's outlet. And it was only $14.99, so if you're looking for, like, farmhouse signs, I highly recommend checking out Ross, Bell's Outlet, um, even TJ Maxx. Those places have really good deals, sometimes even cheaper than Hobby Lobby sales. So if you're in the market for farmhouse signs, check out those places. Also, I wanted to mention, my husband and I did build this fireplace. Um, I have, once again, I have a video on that, but it did not look like this when we originally built it. We have kind of just modified it over time, and there's like a bunch of random stuff and like a random sock. But you know, this is this is real life. Um, and then behind my door here, I have like my workout stuff, my weights, my like sweatband, and then I keep all my makeup and stuff right here, which is not ideal, but <laughs> it's just where I, I usually sit right there and I have a little mirror, and I also have the mirror here, so I usually just sit in one of those spots and do my makeup on the floor. So then walking out of the bedroom, this is the view that you get from this way. So um, I love our little house. I think it's super cute. It's come a long way. We've done a lot of work. Um, one of the main biggest changes we've done in here is the lighting. We took out all like the really cheap lighting in the house and put in all these um, canless lights. And I think that they really look, it makes the house look a lot nicer. Same thing with like the chandelier over here. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and go out back. I'll show you guys what we did outside. It's not the best right now, it needs work. I need to clean it better, but I'm keeping it real over here. So I had to film this part as a voiceover just because the neighbor was playing music and I didn't want to get copyrighted. So anyway, we did a little bit of a makeover on the back patio. We built the patio cover, added the pool with the pool fence and We've done a little bit of landscaping out here. It still needs a ton of work, but it's just, it's progress. One, one project at a time. Um, and then this is our little laundry room. It's right off the back of the house in the shed. All right, so after walking in from the back door, this is what you see. I love this angle of our house. Like I just, I don't know, I love the brick. I love the colors. At first, when we first moved in here, I really struggled with the color of our tile. I was just so scared to use browns because the tile floor is gray. But over time, just adding more and more brown and tan touches, it really did like balance out the gray a little bit. And I am just so, so happy with it. So anyway, I think that's it. My house isn't that big, so the tour is not like super extravagant, <laughs> but this is my house. All right, y'all, so that is going to be it for today's video. I figured I'd give you just a few overviews of every room, um, but I really appreciate you watching today's video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my future uploads, and if you have any questions about anything in my house, please, please feel free to just reach out in the comments, and I will do the best I can to get back to you. Once again, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.